Hello Rule Breaker, it's Courtney here with some copywriting business and life advice for Rebels with a Cause. Is your writing totally blah? Have you been in the academic world forever or in corporate world for a long time and have had it drilled into you to have no personality in your writing? If so, you might be finding it really hard to write conversationally and with a lot of fun and pizzazz and, and make your writing irresistible for people to read, right? You might be surprised to hear that I totally understand where you're coming from. As much as I'm known now for having fun language in my writing, I have my background and my training in academics. In fact, I was a writing consultant at the university working with academics to learn how to make their writing super academic. So when I finished college and went off into the real world and started blogging, I found it really difficult to learn how to strip all of that away, maintain what was important, but start writing with more personality in a way that was really appealing to the people who were reading what I was writing in my blog. So today I wanna give you five ways that you can inject a little more personality back into your writing. These are things that I do all the time and I think you're going to absolutely love them. Let's get started. Number one, this is a big one. Get into the mood that you want people to feel when they read your writing. So if you want people to be excited and like, yes, I love life when they read your writing, then you need to feel like that while you're writing it. Makes sense, right? You're basically transferring the energy to them. So one thing that I do is I often, before I sit down to write, is I'll have a dance party, or before I make these videos, I'll often just go into like a little like, yeah, rah, rah, rah mood so that I have energy in the video. And you can do that before you do your writing as well. So dance parties are a great way of doing that. The next thing you can do is record yourself speaking. So a lot of people have a hard time getting their personality through in writing, but when they speak, they obviously have personality. So you can talk about topics on recording, you can record it just on your iPhone, and then you can either write it yourself or you can get those transcribed by hiring someone on something like Elance. I've done that a lot of times too. Find it really helpful to get to the core of my ideas when they're not coming out by putting pen to paper or fingers to keyboard. The next tip that I have for you is to get the content out now and juice up the language later. It can be really difficult to try to write with personality and make sure that you're getting the content out and the, the, the core ideas out. So I say get the content down first, no matter how boring it is, and then on your next draft go through and ask, okay, how can I make this more exciting? How would I really say this? All that kind of stuff. That way the, the essence of getting the content is already there and you can focus all your energy on making it more fun. That's a big one, part of the writing process. Tip number four is to stop judging yourself. So you need to be able to do a brainstorm and a free write and all that kind of stuff without having thinking that it has to be perfect on the first draft. You should not be opening up a blank document, sitting down and saying, uh, okay, I have to make sure that this is exactly how the final draft is gonna be. No, that's not how the writing process works. I've done videos on that. I hope you'll go and watch those as well to learn what the writing process should look like. But what you really need to be doing is getting out those ideas, whether it's in a recording or a free write or a web mind map, whatever it is, before you actually go to getting the draft on paper that allows you to get to what you really wanna say and not judging, okay, is this how people are gonna wanna read it? Is this how I should organize? it, all that kind of stuff. Brainstorm first. The last tip that I have for you is to keep track of language that you love. So I pay attention when I'm watching Orange is the New Black and other shows that I love that I think are hilarious. Um, when I listen to my friends or my family speak, because I think they're totally funny as well. And I notice things that I really like that people say, the way people say things, or uh, maybe I find words that I really like. I find that I'm very attracted to Yiddish terms, by the way. Um, I love saying things like Sluts and spiel and stuff like that. So you find language that you like, you find things that tickle you, and you use that language. If that means cursing, go ahead and do that. Do it artfully, do it however you want. Be you and get yourself across, get your point across with language that you love. So those are my five ways of adding more personality to my language. What it really comes down to is not worrying about what everyone else thinks. Thinks If you just come across as you and you act as your true, real self, people are going to love it. And guess what? People who don't like it, fuck them. They're not your right people anyway. So just focus on being you. You'll attract all the right people no 
worries. I hope you loved this week's video. If so, go ahead and share it on Facebook and Twitter, and I will see you next week.